the schooling of children occurs at the intersection of two basic rights. One is the right for me to bring up, and I have five children and a grandchild, but the right for me to bring up my children the way that I see fit. The other right is the right of a nation to school its children or to reproduce values and attitudes and knowledge that help to sustain the particular things, including respect for these various amendments that the nation stands on. Uh, it would be wonderful if there were no conflict between the two, but the fact of the matter is we know historically there has been conflict between the but two, and the, the question is how we're going to resolve that conflict. But at the moment, I think the conflict is produced by the public school system. I think it is disgraceful. But this is, as I understand it, the first generation in American history that is going to be more poorly schooled than its parents. And I see no way you can defend and no. say that somehow this conflict you've described can justify the kind of school system we have, and you don't. Well, I'm trying to look, though, for your insights into how we solve this, because we agree on the problem. The question is the solution. Now, American children apparently watch 19 and a half hours of television a week, according to one of the Gallup polls that I saw. Japanese children watch about two and a half hours. Uh, I think we agree that commercial children's television is not what we'd like it to be educationally. They, and yet the very... They usually walk adult television. That's even worse. But are you talking about more yeah. control rather but, but, than but, less but, control? But, well, the question that I have is this. The same parents now who simply derogate responsibilities for most of the education of their children outside of the school to a TV set that's showing inane kinds of experiences are the same parents who are very sensitive and concerned. I think we have to help them to become better parents. I think we have to work with them. We, but I don't think that, if, as we sit here now, who's who's the I think that all educational professionals are responsible for working but with parents and for children. The, the educational professionals who are going to make any decisions of this sort are those who have either directly or indirectly been selected by the parents. You have to remember this is a democracy. We vote for these things. 